Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Uninhibited, the web series dedicated to forensic DNA, brought to you by me, Peter John McEnany, and this guy, Nick Andrews, who's around here somewhere, uh, two former DNA analysts turned field application scientists for Thermo Fisher Scientific. Where is that, Nick? Anyway. Sorry, I'm late. Just don't ask. Uh, dude, don't tell me you're still working on that archive project from yesterday. You look like you just come from some kind of violent game of heads up. Yeah, I was still working on that project. I thought it was going to be easy. Why is scrapbooking so hard? Scrapbooking? Dude, what are you doing? Why don't you just use a computer like a normal person? Because the project was a scrapbook. All right, let me show you what I've put together on a computer in like 15 seconds. And give you a chance to clean up. In 1995, we introduced the ABI PRISM 310 Genetic Analyzer, the first commercial capillary electrophoresis sequencer. Another achievement in 1995, my current supervisor was spotted in this audition photo for the movie Clueless. Ah, yeah, like fashion victim or ensemble challenged. Just a few years later in 1998, we launched the 96 Capillary ABI PRISM 3700 DNA Analyzer System. Alternatively, this Northeast FAS was still fully invested in the Northwest grunge scene. Anyone smell any teen spirit? In the year 2000, we did it again, launching the 16 Capillary ABI PRISM 3100 Genetic Analyzer. While this validation application scientist rang in Y2K with a smooch from Flipper. In 2002, we introduced the Applied Biosystems 3730 DNA Analyzer, a part of our pioneering line of capillary electrophoresis instruments for DNA analysis. And Nick's parents had no clue that their least favorite son would one day become a social media sensation. In 2004, we continued pioneering the field of genetic analysis when we launched the Applied Biosystems 3130 Genetic Analyzer. And around the world, our future application scientists were doing really strange things. Goodness gracious, she does look strange. In 2010, the Applied Biosystems 3500 Series Genetic Analyzer launched, adding to our industry-leading line of CE instruments. And this Southern FAS was crushing Halloween with his cat costumes and spooky porch decorations. 2017 was a big year. We revolutionized genetic analysis by introducing the latest in capillary electrophoresis technology. The Applied Biosystems Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer tackles Sanger sequencing and fragment analysis as a universal all-in-one cartridge-based system. This instrument was also Thermo Fisher Scientific's most popular wedding crasher. Ugh, I hate you. But that was pretty amazing. I guess. I miss our crazy team. Yeah, virtual scrapbooking was pretty fun and extremely easy, but it reminded me of the last time the whole team was together working on the Applied Biosystems Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer, the newest evolution in capillary electrophoresis. I will agree, it's a pretty cool instrument, and that's why we are gonna focus on it in this episode. And yes, it is a genetic analyzer, like many of its predecessors, but it also has some really cool new features. I just love the fact that it's cartridge-based, making it really easy to use and maintain. Nick, did you just hear yourself? You actually made sense like you knew what you were talking about. Let's test your knowledge here. Why don't I quiz you? Oh, well, as they say in my favorite movie, bring it on. All right, first question. Since you're so in love with this cartridge, why don't we talk about that? What are the typical genetic analyzer components found inside of it? Well, we've got the capillary array, got the polymer, the polymer delivery system or pump, the anode buffer container, all in a single unit tracked with RFID. And it's so easy to install, you just slide that cartridge in and it spatially calibrates itself. Wow, good answer, good answer, I like it so far. Question number two, how does this cartridge improve data quality? 
Uh, why don't you ask me some hard questions? After cartridge installation, you just run the spectral calibration once and the onboard algorithms will maintain an optimal matrix to avoid pull up for the life of that cartridge, which is about six months or 250 injections before you ask. Thank you, thank you. Answering my next question already. So I'll just move on. Uh, let's talk about the instrument's application support. What's so unique about it? Well, what's really cool about this instrument is that we've developed this awesome new polymer type called POP1, which has high enough resolution for both fragment analysis and sequencing applications without even having to change the cartridge. Do you get it? POP1, one for all, one uh, POP for all applications. Yeah, no, I don't get it. What are you, some kind of musketeer or something? What I do in my personal life is none of your business. All right, moving on. Six months on the instrument for that POP1 polymer? Want to go bad? Well, that's why the instrument has a built-in cooling system that maintains the polymer at four degrees Celsius when it's not in use. Nice job, Nick. That was a lot of information. The Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer really does have a lot of new and exciting features. Let me recap on my top five. Number one, all in one. The Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer contains almost all of the components in one easy package. Number two, better data. New algorithms for drastically reduced pull-up and peak detection. Number three, less maintenance. The instrument performs spatial calibration automatically when the cartridge is inserted. Number four, implementation. The instrument is great for low throughput labs, universities, or larger labs that need a separate solution for rush cases that won't interfere with current batching methods. And last, number five, universal application support. With the Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer, you can perform both sequencing and STR fragment analysis without changing the cartridge. Pop one for all. Stop trying to make pop one happen, okay? It's not happening. It's a thing in England. Mm. All right, ignoring for a second Nick's penchant for giant feathered hats and Baroque French costumes or whatever that is, it is amazing that all of these features are packed into our latest genetic analyzer. It's built with over 25 years of experience in forensic DNA testing, like we saw in my digital scrapbook, which, by the way, was way better than Nick's glue and glitter disaster. Yeah, yeah. By the time I finish my scrapbook, we'll probably release another instrument. Yeah, we can't wait that long, Nick. By that time, we'll have an entire array of new instruments. True. In the meantime, always remember that your HID, FAS, and tech support are always here to help you. You can contact us via email or contact your local field application scientist or account manager. All right, Nick, sign us off. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Uninhibited. Au revoir. Stick some googly eyes to me, Ed. Must be Not some toros favorite. in the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo, yo, top five of those features. Top five. Dive down. This is a pizza yeah. slice. <laughs> oh, a giant knife. Is that a uh, weighted suit? Like, why is it so puffy? Because <laughs> I am a musketeer, darling. It's next quarantine 15. Quarantine 50. 15. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What were we saying about such a nice team that we miss all of you? I don't miss any of you. Mm -hmm. This will give you a little bit of time to clean yourself up. Wow, I got something on my face. The Applied Burner System Seek Studio Genetic Analyzer. Click here. Nick, did you just hear yourself? You actually made sense. Like you knew what you were talking about. I think I blacked out. What did I say? Here? Oh.
Oh, the, did you leave your sense of humour at the door? You, sir, are not invited. Who would have thought being awkward in front of the camera would have an advantage? Thank you.